Well, again, good morning, everybody. So much energy. I love seeing so many people here in the park. We're, we're park rangers. We like people, we like talking to people, and we like seeing all of you. So this is wonderful. Thank you all for being here today. Um, I wanted to welcome you to Kings Mountain National Military Park. My name is Diana Bramble, and I'm the superintendent for the Southern Campaign Group of Parks uh, here in South Carolina, which includes Kings Mountain National Military Park and the Over Mountain Victory National Historic Trail. So thank you for joining us this morning. Uh, we're here to commemorate the March of the Over Mountain Men and the events that took place at Kings Mountain National Military Park 242 years ago. Uh, first off, I'd be remiss if I didn't uh, mention some housekeeping notes. If everyone could please silence their cell phones and turn the volume down on radio so that we don't have or we can minimize distractions. I know there's a lot of important things going on. Fortunately, cell service fairly works up here anyway, so that helps. Uh, if you have an emergency or a question or any kind of need, please reach out to the closest person in green and red. They look a little bit like me. Um, that you can find. There are about 15 to 18 of us around here. Uh, we're here to help you and, and help mitigate any uh, matters that you might have. So please be safe and enjoy the program. Of course, we're encouraging social distancing. We have hand sanitizers around. So we want everybody to be safe and enjoy themselves today. So with that, uh, we're gonna go ahead and get this program on the road. I would like to introduce Dr. John Still. He's the chaplain for our program today. He's going to provide the invocation and get it going. Let us pray. As we gather, O oh God, for this commemoration today, we ask your blessings upon each of us. We thank you for this occasion as we celebrate the 242nd anniversary of the Battle of Kings Mountain. We esteem their patriotism and courage, their faith and loyalty, and their willingness to sacrifice to make our world a better place. We thank you too for America and for all patriots who have given us the liberties and privileges that we enjoy. May we be willing to serve you and our nation even as they did. May the ideals that we remember from the past sustain us today, safeguard us tomorrow, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Thank you, Dr. Still. Uh, now I'd like to introduce Jay DeLoach the State President of the North Carolina Society, Sons of the American Revolution. <coughs> Would you please come to the podium for Cuesta Colors? Please remain standing for the presentation of colors. Color Guard Commander, <coughs> advance the colors. State President of the South Carolina Children 
of the American Revolution, Gray Bobo, please lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Order. On. Order. Off. Right call. Order. Caller. Brave. Rest. Right Sh left. Shoulder. Flintlock. Carry. Callers. Right. Face. Forward. Mark. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give a big hand for our color guard. as Kings Mountain National Military Park and the Over Mountain Victory National Historic Trail, which leads to Kings Mountain National Military Park, are those tangible places for us to come together and connect with these significant events in our nation's history. We're able to be here today for a battle that took place 242 years ago. Let that sink in for a second. Something happened here on this ridge 242 years ago. It was a battle that changed the entire trajectory of the American Revolution. It's profound. We're able to be here today because dedicated people came together to preserve these hallowed grounds. We're here today to honor the bravery of those who put their lives at stake and for those who gave the ultimate sacrifice for their beliefs so that we now may all connect with their stories and where the descendants of these brave people may connect with their heritage. Through this kind of partnership and collaboration in preserving these places and telling these stories, we're leaving behind a legacy of working together to ensure that places significant to the forming of our nation are cared for, available, and welcoming for all, where we may continue to work together to tell the stories of what happened here and connect with that shared history for as many years as we can make it happen, for all time. That's the goal. So in the spirit of friendship and collaboration, and on behalf of the National Park Service, as well as the staff of Kings Mountain National Military Park and the Other Mountain Victory National Historic Trail, I want to recognize the distinguish distinguished visitors that are attending today's commemoration. When I say your name, would you please rise and wave for recognition? We have First, uh, Mr. George Strunk, Vice President General, South Atlantic District, National Society, Sons of the American Revolution. <laughs> Representative Tim Moore, Speaker of the North Carolina House of Representatives. And <laughs> Speaker of Senate, Senate, Senate. We have general officers of the National Society, Sons of the American Revolution, in attendance. Mr. Daryl Addington, Treasurer General. <laughs> Mr. Michael J. Elston, Esquire, Chancellor General. 
Mr. Gary Green, Genealogist General. Mr. Brooke Lyles, Junior, Historian General. Who is also our Color Guard Commander. Thank you, Brooke. We have state presidents of the several state societies of the Sons of the American Revolution. Mr. Jay Deloach with the North Carolina Society. Mr. Lawrence Peebles with the South Carolina Society. Mr. Scott Giltner with the Kentucky Society. We have presidents and President Emeritus of Compatriot Societies. We have Mr. Gray Bobo, South Carolina Society's Children of the Revolution. <laughs> Mr. Ivan Daniels, Tennessee Society, Children of the Revolution. <laughs> Let's give Ivan one more round of applause. He's been on the trail for the last two weeks with the Over Mountain Victory oh, National Trail. <laughs> had a long two weeks and he's been out there doing programs and um, getting involved in all kinds of stuff. And we have Mr. Daniel Hopping with the Sons of the Revolution in North Carolina, who has also been on the trail for the last two weeks. Thank you, Dan, for all that you do. So next up, I would like to invite Vice President General George Strunk to the podium for comments on behalf of the National Society Sons of the American Revolution. Thank you all very much for coming out this morning. On behalf of President General Bruce Pickett, I bring you greetings for the national staff, the Sons of the American Revolution, and its 37,363 members. The 242nd anniversary of this important battle is just one step in our march towards the 250th anniversary of the founding of our country in 2026. Let us step off proudly. Thank you. We'll receive greetings from the several state organizations that are participating in today's commemoration. They're going to rise and make a couple of remarks. Uh, first, I have Dr. David Ludley, who's the president of the Georgia Society. Thank you. I bring greetings from uh, the 35 chapters and 2,089 members of the Georgia Society, Sons of the American Revolution. Thank you very much. Mr. Jeff Thomas, Virginia Society, Pastor President. Good morning. It's my honor to be here uh, to bring greetings on behalf of President Bruce Meyer, the 30 chapters and 2,200 members of the Virginia Society, Sons of the American Revolution. The Virginia Society held its state commemoration two weeks ago at the Abington Muster Grounds, where Colonel William Campbell and the Patriot Fourth Forces gathered there at the northern trailhead of the Overmountain Victory Trail to begin the march south. And we're here today at the completion of that march to render honors to those Patriot Forces, the great victory here, and those who paid the ultimate sacrifice. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Thomas. Next, we have representing the North Carolina Society of Daughters of the American Revolution, Mrs. Donna Honeycutt, state historian. On behalf of the Executive Board, the North Carolina Society Daughters of the American Revolution honors these men who gave their lives for the preservation of our freedoms and our future. Thank you for allowing us to be part of this ceremony today. Thank you for being here. 
And on behalf of the South Carolina Society, Daughters of the American Revolution, Mrs. Allison Strange, District 2 Director and Honorary Regent, Battle of Kelpens Chapter. Good morning. On behalf of State Regent Barney Bell Glasgow Moffat, I have the distinct privilege of bringing greetings from the South Carolina Society, Daughters of the American Revolution. The South Carolina Daughters are truly honored to be represented at this commemoration of the 242nd anniversary of the decisive American victory against the British at the Battle of Kings Mountain. The South Carolina Daughters offer a heartfelt thank you for the opportunity to uh, participate on this important occasion. Thank you. Thank you. All right, so none of this ever happens in a vacuum. We, we need partnership, collaboration, support, teamwork for anything like this to happen. Um, a great deal of thanks goes to Clark Summers. He is the president of the hosting Battle of Kings Mountain chapter. He has been a wonderful partner to work with for today's program, and I am very grateful, so is my team. Um, we're very grateful for his thoughtful guidance and teamwork as we put together the event today. Clark, would you please come to the podium to introduce our keynote speaker? As president of the namesake chapter, for one of the most significant battles, leading to victory in the War of Independence, it is my honor to introduce our distinguished guest. A native of Kings Mountain, he has served Cleveland County in North Carolina District 111 since 2004 and tenure of nearly 18 years, including service as the Speaker of the North Carolina House of Representatives <coughs> since 2015. Would you please join me in welcoming to the podium Speaker Tim Moore, Good morning. Good morning. This is uh, this is really a special, very special thing for me personally. Uh, Greg, Greg, are you here? Greg Pace, uh, did some research uh, a few years ago, and and actually found that we I had three uh, lineal ancestors who were here at this very battle. Uh, so I guess we've been around. We, we've been in Kings Mountain over 200 years. We we haven't gone anywhere yet. <laughs> And there's a lot of you here today who share that same, that same heritage of folks who were here and who served here at this battle, who were here on this ground, who's, and the blood that's within you today is the blood from those who fought for our freedom. You know, when this battle happened, the outcome of the war was, was less than certain. There had been a string of defeats primarily in the north, and the campaign was in the south. And this was really the first battle. In fact, I believe President Thomas Jefferson referenced to as this was the, the, the beginning of the tide that was turning. The, the importance, the historical importance, and frankly, a lot of times is not often talked about in terms of the Southern campaign the way it fully should. Those of us who live here know this. And I, I just a special thank you to those of you who were here with the, uh, with the Honor Guard, uh, those who take so much time with SAR, with DAR, with the organizations. You do a great deal to protect and to promote the great history of this nation. You know, America didn't just happen as an accident. Uh, and if you think about it, for those who know, know the history of this well, uh, we were at the time were fighting the greatest superpower of the world with a ragtag army of folks who were generally providing, at least in the South, their own weapons, their own munitions, their own food, uh, doing what they could to get here. The two-week march, uh, with, for those of us who, who had a tough time with this hill up here today, can you imagine the two weeks uh, that these folks dealt with traveling to get here to this site, to come fight a commander who was known throughout the region as someone who had been a great commander for the, uh, for the British, uh, who had a lot of troops here, but who used through uh, excellent strategy, through, through excellent marksmanship, and ultimately through pure commitment and bravery took on and defeated the greatest superpower the world has ever seen at that time. It, it's, it, the historical significance uh, cannot be overstated of, of, this, of the war and of this campaign and of this battle and of what happened here 242 years ago. 
as I've come here, I've come here for years. I brought my sons when they were little. Whenever I would, uh, whenever I would bring folks in from out of town, we'd always come here. We'd hike. I'd like to show them. Very proud of the history of this region, of the folks who have been here before us and what they did to fight for this great nation. But as you look around, if you see where we are atop this hill, how this is, how you know, how it drops off on the side, how how things are set up here, can you just imagine what it was like that scene? that scene all those years ago. The terrible scene, of course, of a battle, but the, but the scene and the sight of what was happening. Can you imagine what the smells would have been? Imagine what the sounds would have been. Not a great thing in a lot of ways, but a necessary price that had to be paid for the freedom that we enjoy today. I think it's very appropriate that here at this park, that the other national parks, that we commemorate, that we recognize, and that we teach to the young people the importance of this history. Because as we move forward, every year we get a little further away and a little further away from it. But we have to recognize and we have to make sure that students know, we have to make sure that we appreciate how great this nation is right. and how those who have come before us, in fact, paid that ultimate sacrifice that we can enjoy those very freedoms today. It is an honor to be here. I want to welcome you all to Kings Mountain. I know we're in South Carolina right now. Maybe we'll run a bill to annex it back into North Carolina. I don't see any South Carolina legislators here, just saying. But uh, no, we'll be good neighbors. We'll be good neighbors. But it is, uh, it, it, it's a great source of pride for the Carolinas. How about that? For the Carolinas, uh, what was done here, of course, we had cow pens. Uh, just, just so much great history that's here. But on behalf of the state of North Carolina, on behalf of my friends in South Carolina, too, uh, we want to welcome everyone here. We want to thank you for this commemoration. We want to thank you for your efforts that you, that you make to make sure that the history of this great nation and the struggle of the American Revolution is never forgotten. You know, some folks have said we're the original Brexit. <laughs> I think they were on to something. So, with that, thank you all. Speaker Moore for your, uh, your very thoughtful and meaningful comments. Very much appreciate you being here. Um, Speaker Moore drove up directly from Raleigh this morning, so uh, again, we, we really appreciate just the effort even in being here today. So now I would like to take a moment to uh, acknowledge all the representatives of the local chapters of the Sons of the American Revolution, Daughters of the American Revolution, Children of the American Revolution, and sister organizations for the presentation of these beautiful <coughs> wreaths and flowers that are presented here, recognizing the sacrifices of those who fought in battle at King's Mountain. Please stand and accept our thanks. I'll make a little bit more mention of it later, but the names of, of all of these uh, individuals are presented on a screen at the visitor center. So for the for the, their individual recognition. Um, again, thank you. It means so much to us that you're here today, and that we have these beautiful wreaths to display for the ceremony. So now, for the Over Mountain Victory Trail Association, I've mentioned them a couple of times. Um, we're, the, the Battle of Kings Mountain was fought by the Over Mountain, and they marched two weeks. They, and chased down Patrick Ferguson, ended up in here, uh, ended up here and fought in battle. Um, I stated earlier that special places like this are established because of the extraordinary efforts of brave people. We're able to share the story of the Over Mountain Men and the events leading up to the Battle of Kings Mountain with thousands of people, primarily children, and I do mean thousands, thousands of children come through uh, in the weeks leading up to this. Because of the extraordinary efforts of some brave, determined, and most definitely not so ordinary people. You'll, you'll see that. Um, these folks have been on the trail for three weeks now. They share the story of the other mountain men with the local communities. They go to the significant sites that are associated with the trail, mustering grounds, sheltering areas, and they tell the story at those special places. They are a tremendously dedicated group of volunteers, and we are very grateful for all that they do. 
David Dome is the president of the Over Mountain Victory Trail Association, and he's going to lead the members uh, in reading the names from the U.S. Monument, then firing a commemorative volley, followed by the morning of arms. So please come on up, y'all. Thank you, Diana. It's a privilege and honor for our organization to be able to do this this morning, to read these names. Colonel James Williams. Lieutenant Colonel James Steen. Major William Chronicle. Captain William Edmondson. Captain John Mattox. <coughs> Post Lieutenant William Blackburn. Post Lieutenant Lisa Brown. First Lieutenant Robert Edmondson Sr. Second Lieutenant John Peedy. Second Lieutenant James Corey. Second Lieutenant Andrew Edmondson. Second Lieutenant Nathaniel Gist. Second Lieutenant Humberson Lyon. Second Lieutenant James Phillips. Private John Thomas Ficknell, Private John Boyd, Private John Brown, and Private David Duff. Private Preston Goforth, Private Henry Henniger, Private Michael Mahoney. Private Arthur Patterson, Private William Rabb, <coughs> Private John Smart, Private Daniel Sisk. Private William Steele, Private William Watson, and any unknown participant. I would like to ask now that if you had an ancestor who participated in the battle here at Kings Mountain, please stand and accept our recognition. <laughs>
with me. And all I've done for want of wit to memory now I can't recall. So fill to me the parting glass. Good night and joy be to you all. Of all the comrades that e'er I've had, they're sorry for my going away, and all the sweethearts that ever I've had, they'd wish me one more day to stay. But since it fell into my lot that I should rise and you should not, I'll gently rise and softly call. Good night and joy be to you all. So fill to me the parting glass and drink a health whate'er befall. Then gently rise and softly call. Good night and joy be to you all. Good night and joy be to you all. Thank you again. Uh, 
Um, David and the Ever Mountain Victory Trail Association. Living history is such an incredible community and, uh, and practice. Um, you know, being at a location, having that tangible experience of what happened at a place is part of it. Having people that are able to actually show you what things looked like, what people looked like, what their lives looked like, how they dressed, that just adds such an incredible element to the experience. Uh, we have many people here today that are in period attire, that are living historians, and uh, we, it just brings so much more to the So thank you all for being here today. Um, so again, we're just, we're, it's such an honor to have all of you here today and so many distinguished guests. Again, um, Representative Moore, thank you for being here. Representatives from Sons of the American Revolution, Daughters of the American Revolution, and Children of the American Revolution the Ever Mountain Victory Trail Association, representatives from the local chapters, um, and this, this wonderful color guard. Uh, thank you all so much. I also want to offer my sincerest and most heartfelt thanks to the team here at Kings Mountain National Military Park for pulling this program together. They do an incredible job every day of telling these stories and preserving this place. Um, they put a tremendous amount of effort into the preparation for today. So thank you all for this. Thank you. I wanted to ask everybody to, to hang around after the benediction for photographs with the wreath. Uh, again, as I mentioned earlier, individual honors are presented on the screen at the Visitor Center for recognition. So please take some time to view those names before you depart. The day is not over after the wreath ceremony. At three o'clock, we have a presentation in the amphitheater of the Over Mountain Men. Uh, three o'clock is when they made their way up the hill into Kings Mountain when the battle started. So if you'd like to go get lunch, come back, or just stay for the day. Um, we'll have some things happening at three o'clock in the amphitheater. And then at seven o'clock tonight, we have lantern tours. So it's the first year I've, I've been in the park since 2020, and this will be the first time I get to experience the lantern tours. I'm really excited and hope to see many of you there. <clears throat> the annual commemoration of the March of the Over Mountain Men and the commemoration of the Battle of Kings Mountain, it's, it's a labor of love every single year. It's a time for camaraderie, engagement of new audiences, connecting with those that we already know, and fostering a sense of community. This is our nation's history. And we're so grateful to be able to share it with all of you today. So, with that, I am going to ask uh, the Color Guard Commander to call for retirement of the Color Guards, or the Colors. Color Guard Commander, please retire. Color Guard, carry colors, shoulder firelocks. To the right, face. 